sorry I had to stop the video for a second I thought somebody came home and anyways back to this stuff um I'll wear it but I'll probably find another red that I want like more of a true red or maybe like a pinky red or blue blue tone red. I don't I don't know what I'm saying anyways orangey red not good for me not not for my skin tone I'm like fair pink undertone so that one I mean but overall that stuff is awesome I recommend it <laughs> this is coming up this is sounding like a really bad video I'm not very convincing but you know these are the stuff that I love <laughs> anyways um, um eyeliners so I love the Milani liquify um, eyeliners I have it this is the first one that I bought was in purple um, whoot. actually it's a little dull looking but it's it's like a liquid eyeliner it's not liquid but it's like in a pencil form it comes across as kind of being liquidy um, but anyways I like the purple one because I've got the green eye so that was the first one that I bought and then I decided you know since I got my new job and everything um, I'm probably going to be able to wear makeup more to work because I'm not going to be like on my feet running around sweating and stuff like that. I'll actually be sitting in a cubicle and, you know, whatever. I figure maybe I can have more fun with my makeup. So today I bought the one in green. This one, let's see, is this a specific color? It's just called green. <laughs> and I, for a while I've been wanting a brown eyeliner because I've been doing a lot, of, a lot more neutral looks lately. I started out, when I first started getting into eyeshadow, I used to do like a lot of like bold looks and I kind of toned it down a little bit, started experimenting with different colors and like right now I'm really into like neutral. Maybe it's just because it's summertime, I don't know. So um, I decided to buy brown, a brown eyeliner and it's um, well, see the camera quality is just not that great. I mean it's on a Mac, it is good camera quality but like showing up colors and details mm, not so much I don't know mm. anyways I do recommend the Milani's like I said I've been using the purple one for about a month or two now and I always use it and it doesn't smudge it doesn't bleed or anything like it stays on sometimes you have to I mean it's makeup obviously you're gonna have to touch it up throughout the day I mean there's just no getting around that there's I've not come across one product that stays all day but, I mean, this stuff is still really good. I mean, it does stay on for a long time and, you know, smudge proof. It doesn't, you know, whatever. Awesome stuff. Anyways, um, let's get into some eyeshadows. This is me. Me. <laughs> this is my favorite eyeshadow, especially in a palette form. This is, like, my go-to. This is the NYX um, Five Color Shadow, the Caribbean Collection, and I Dream of St. Martin. You can get it at, you can get it at Ulta, which living where I live there's not an Ulta within 100 miles of this place so I have to get it online or when I go down to Florida visit um, Jacksonville they have an Ulta there so um I don't know if I bought this one online or in the Ulta store but anyways um yeah you can get it at Ulta you can get it at the NYX website you can get it at cherryculture.com which actually I bought a lot of NYX products from there a couple of months ago or about a month ago and they um they have like um discounted prices so it's like yeah awesome Anyways, well, awesome neutrals. There's like a gold, oh wait, see I'm still trying to get used to the camera. Gold, um, this one's like a, a matte flesh color. This one is um, kind of like a medium brownie bronzy. This one is kind of like a shimmery light brown or taupey I'm really not sure and this one's a dark brown I love to wear what do I do I think I wear this color on my lid this color in my crease and this color like on my outer V it's beautiful and under my lid or I eyelash whatever lower eyelash line I'm losing my train of thought <laughs> but anyways like this is my favorite palette I do recommend this one um just like I recommend everything I keep saying that but I think um at Cherry Culture, it's like five dollars for one of these. Where normally it's like eight dollars. Am I right? I don't know. Check it out. There are different colors. I'm thinking about getting like all the um, Caribbean collections. They have a lot of different like nude ones, so that might be a little redundant. But yeah, you know, whatever. I'm into neutrals right now. Um, another eyeshadow that I like adore is the Wet n Wild the Singles. 
Um, this one is in Panther. I actually bought this one to use as a black um, shadow liner. And this stuff is very pigmented. Like, these are $1.99 everywhere like um walmart kmart my target doesn't have went in a while but walgreens cvs like it's a dollar 99 everywhere but this stuff is like very pigmented and for a shadow like using it as a liner it stays for a long time like i was very pleased with this i actually originally bought like the um what are they the um color the wet and wild color icon um, palettes, and I think one of them, oh yeah, it's the, um, I Love Matte palette, and it has this, you know, matte black in it, and I was using that, and I, you know, if I wanted to take the black around with me all day, I'd carry that palette, which, it's not that big of a deal, you know, throw it in your purse, but I wanted something, like, smaller, and that's just, you know, just a single, so I bought this, and this, I mean, it, it's awesome, it, it's the same quality as that, um, this is like my go-to black for, I mean, anything, if I wanted to use it as an actual eyeshadow or as a liner, and like, here's just another color that I picked up today, this one's an Envy, I also have, um, the gold one, I have two of the purples, like, they have like a, um, like a normal matte slash shimmer collection, and then they have one with like sparkles in it, I think I own virtually all the colors by now, I just, you know, whatever. I love those. And the last thing I want to talk about would be um, blushes. One of them is an actual drugstore brand. This is the e.l.f. blush. And these, since these are part of the, um, what is it, the studio collection, these are, I believe, $2.99. But, I mean, come on, you get a blush for $2.99? These are pretty awesome. They don't break me out. This one is specifically in Candid Coral. I have, um... What are the other two colors that I have? This one is in uh, Fuchsia Fusion. And this one is like a hot pink with sparkles, which I'm actually not a big fan of having sparkly um, blush. Because for some reason, like with my, like my face and my skin and everything, like I like to stay matte. Like I don't like any sparkles or shimmers or whatever. But I mean, that's an okay color. I just have to kind of be in the mood for it. <laughs> and this other one is Pink Passion. Like this is... This is like a hot neon pink, and I'm really not sure why I bought this, but it actually, it comes, it's actually a lot more sheer than you would think it would be, but these blushes are awesome. They don't break me out there. I love them, but I, I'd have to say the um, Candid Coral is definitely my favorite. It's kind of more, um, it's corally, <laughs> and it's not, I mean, it's a little shimmery, but it's not like sparkles. That stuff is awesome. There's another, there's one more brand that I like as far as blushes are concerned. And this one's not really considered a drugstore. I would say it's more like department store. I get it at Kohl's and it's part of the, um, the Flirt. The, I guess the name is, the brand name is Flirt. But like this brand does not get the attention that it deserves. I bought, um, I think... Was it back to school? No, I think it was during the winter time. Well, my dad's fiance, she works at Kohl's, so we get a discount. Like, you know, she'll use her discount, get us some stuff. And I probably shouldn't be saying that, but whatever. And, you know, Kohl's is already, already like, a lot of their stuff is always on sale. Like, clearance, you can get a lot of stuff. But this was the first color that I bought. This one is in Pink Tutu. And this one, I think, is, like, like an exact dupe for NARS um, Orgasm Blush. I mean, I love this stuff. It look, I mean, it's just, oh, I love it. So I decided um, last weekend I went back to Kohl's because we had like a 20% off coupon. And I was like, I want another blush by them. So I bought, um, this one is in All Dolled Up. I mean, I say that these blushes are on par with any brand that you find in Sephora. And I feel like I made a post about this before. And I probably said the same exact thing. But, I mean... It doesn't break me out. The colors are amazing. They're not like heavy, but they're not sheer. Like I, I would go to this brand before I'd go and get anything from Sephora because I just think they're just that great and they're cheaper. I mean, they're not the cheapest. I think these blushes are about, um, 12 or 13 dollars. So they might be a little cheaper than the blushes you find in Sephora. Usually when I go to Sephora, I'm not really looking at blushes anyway, so I don't really know how the price ranges run there. But anyways, as far as quality, like, I think they're just as good as anything you'd find at Sephora. Just, I mean, that's just me personally. But, um, like I said, that's not really a drugstore brand. It's more like a, 
um, department store, but, you know, I kind of, you know, fudge a little bit. I mean, what are you going to do? So anyways, I think that's about it. I kind of ran through, um, darn it. There was one more palette I wanted to show you. I'll show it to you real fast. It's more eyeshadow. This one is Sonia Kashuk, and I actually have three of her palettes. This one is Eye on Pure Color number four. This came out in the springtime. I also have a palette that's all nudes, um, all matte nudes. So it's you have all these nude browns and nude silvers and pinkies and I mean it's beautiful and then I have another one that I got I think last year I think it's called fall on eye color and I think I might have talked about these before but anyways um once again they're drugstore but they're high-end drugstore there um Sonia Kashuk has a special line at Target and um I mean these things run about 20 like they're $19.99 but I mean look you get what is it three times so you get 12 eyeshadows for twenty dollars and it comes with these little um like looks you pull this little thing out and it kind of gives you some guidelines and i've actually used these guidelines and they're pretty awesome because you know when you get like um like wet and wild on the back um or like revlon the color stay quads you look on the back and it's like here is how you can wear this and you wear it and sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't but her suggestions i mean i've used all of her suggestions and they're actually really pretty and like this chick knows what she's talking about so you know she's a she's really awesome but anyways okay that's all i have to say um i hope you find this video helpful i hope somebody watches it and maybe takes my suggestions like I try to be real and down to earth, you know, about this. I'm not trying to say, oh, well, this is what people, I mean, this, these are the drugstore brands that people like. So that's what I'm going to say that I like. I mean, like I said, there was like only one product in here that I said that I like that everybody else says they like. And that's okay. But um, I was trying to bring some different variety in here. And these are my honest opinions. So I hope you guys like this video. And bye.